Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your financial reading for the second half of January 2019. Uh, this month, I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to catch me live, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon. But uh, let's see what we have going on for you. Uh, Nine of Hearts wishes. Look at this. Ooh, I love it. Uh, King of Diamonds as well. So definitely very good business ideas, I feel, for you. A lot of these ideas could lead to travel. Number one is popping into my head. Um, also, I would say wishes. Just This is a card of wishes, getting something you wish for, getting something you want. It's a card of a victory as well. So some of you could be just seeing improvements in finances, and that could lead you to a wish or getting something you want. I'm also getting surprises as well. Uh, I feel like these are positive surprises. You have these cards. Cards. Plus, you have this right here, Eight of Diamonds, which could represent some sort of uh, unexpected financial matter, but again, po in, in the positive, so it's a positive card. So I do feel like there could be financial, positive financial surprises. For others, this is you just getting a better handle on your finances. So you could just be, you know, saving money, doing all that other boring stuff that nobody wants to do, like, you know, paying your bills and stuff like that. But it's still a good card because it says, like, doing those things will actually help you in the future and will actually help you... Um, you know, kind of get things, you know, you know, get things moving forward. It's like I always tell people, you gotta, you gotta pay your bills with gratitude. Cause it's like, if you're paying your bills and you're like miserable about it, you're basically telling the universe, like, you know, I don't want more money. Cause you know, more money equals more bills. So it's like, if you don't pay with gratitude, then, you know, you're not going to get more money is what I would say there. So always pay with gratitude there, Taurus. Uh, next, you have the Eight of Diamonds coming up here and the Six of Hearts to turn around. This card represents things opening up. I feel like you're opening doors here. This card is called the Key. This card right here just represents a turnaround. Uh, Six of Hearts says maybe you've been trying to do something financially, get a new job, start a business, save more money, whatever, whatever. And it could say that you have been blocked or, um, you know, there have been blocks put up for kind of preventing you from being able to move forward in a certain direction this right here again this turnaround so it says the blocks are lifting and this is the key so it's almost like you're opening doors towards new financial opportunities for some reason i feel like this could involve a lot of people i said this to you last night on the daily reading uh that on the daily reading for january 14th um I said this to you that I felt like some of you were going to be a leader right here, being a leader, or uh, some of you were going to step into the limelight, six of hearts right here, atten attention, or again, it could involve social media as well. So some of you might be trying to build a social media following, or you could be trying to build some sort of business is what I would say. And I feel like, you know, again, it could bring a lot of attention to you. Now, let me just grab, I just want to get, get the chart up. There we go. Um, yeah, so who knows? You could surprise yourself. Uranus in your own sign. There could be some sort of thing going on there. I do feel like you will want a stronger... I feel like just looking at these cards here, I feel like you want more freedom. Of course, again, Uranus in your own sign. You could be having a strong drive to create more financial freedom in your life as well. Uh, next, you have the Five of Hearts here and the Eight of Clubs. I uh, I do feel confusion here. This is like uh, not sure what to do. This is jealousy normally, but again, it could just represent confusion about what you want to do in the future. I feel like these are saying just do it. Like if you have a business idea, just do it. I feel like if you have a new job idea somewhere where you want to work, just do it. I feel like these cards are saying, you know, don't think about it, just do it. Um, eight of clubs can be that like chatter in the back of your head, which I've talked about before. It's really strong this year in the chart. I feel like the you know, the, there are way more reasons in our head uh, to not do something this year than maybe in the past years. So the trick is to turn those voices off, to turn those reasons off. The, the reasons don't exist is what I would say here. So if something is stopping you from moving forward, I feel like you need to, um, you know, stop thinking about it or get those thoughts out of your head here. Uh, next, you have the Joker and the Nine of Spades. Everybody getting this card this month for some reason. Uh, it could just be a busy month. Um, you know, it could just be that the energy is finally opening up. We have, like, no retrogrades. Things are moving forward. You know, where last year was, like, retrograde city, and it was, like, nuts, tons of eclipses and all this other stuff. So I feel like it's saying now, maybe that's why people are busy. It's like maybe we actually have the energy to move forward. We finally have the energy to get things moving in a certain direction. Nine of Spades says, don't let your past hold you back. Uh, don't let, again, these past worries, fears, anxieties, depression, any of that, don't let it hold you back. Um, this could also represent temporary positions or part-time positions. So again, if you're looking for a job, this card says, get something part-time or get something temporary because, you know, this right here says that it could turn into a full-time job. It's a really good, it, it, that's like one of the specific meanings of this card is getting something part-time that turns into something full-time. It's a card of a blessing in disguise as well. So I do feel like there could be a blessing in disguise for some of you. I would also say that I feel like this card could be talking about um, uh, freelance work right here. I feel, so I feel like if you're a freelancer, if you do any part-time work, uh, you could be getting a new job or new you know gigs or uh, 
contracts and things like that as well. Uh, and finally, you have the four spades, so recovery and two of clubs. I do feel like you need to talk yourself into things with this uh, two of clubs here. This comes up for you a lot, um, you know, kind of needing to convince yourself you can do something or needing to convince yourself that you're good enough to do something. And four of spades says you will be recovering there, so I do feel like you will be able to. Yeah, look, um, I want to see what the next two cards were. Ace hearts, ten hearts, fortune after difficulty, fortune after difficulty. I feel like this is you convincing yourself you can do things. This could be you running after your dream. Now this came up for Virgo as well, so it might be just like an earth sign thing right now, but this could be you running after your dreams, kind of really going for something you want, and uh, yeah, just a card of improvements, lots of options. Both of these cards can represent the home and moving as well, so some of you could be moving at this time also, but uh, it looks really good for you, Taurus, so thank you for watching, and enjoy your month.